These spray bottles are the perfect size. And the white ones are easy to write on with a Sharpie. And the size is not too big. The purple Fabuloso, it is fabulous. Perfect little narrow bottle to fit in the RV. Natural Ice Mentholatum Chapstick is a local favorite that I've been using ever for about 20 years now. It comes in natural mint and cherry. Red Diamond Black Tea, it's the best. Hi guys, look what I'm cooking. It's about 1 in the morning. No, 12.39. And I'm dyeing fabric. Dyeing some stuff to go. That to match our, well it's blue, it's the closest color I could get, but I wanted to go a little bit darker. I had some light colored um, pillowcases, I think, or pillowcases that had some curtains that I wanted to hang up. I'll show you the curtains. They didn't come out, well, they're in here. I'm getting ready to wash. They didn't come out blue. They, they wouldn't take. So they are still kind of a white. I'll probably end up throwing it away anyway. I'm just testing some fabrics to see I thought I had some navy colored dye and I wanted to see how it worked. But we're having a big storm right now, a thunderstorm. You won't be able ooh, you won't be able to see well, but there's the lightning. You can hear how strong the winds are. I'm glad we're in a house at the moment. Man, that wind is just steady. I think it's pouring right now. Pouring rain. Can I open the door? Let's see. I don't want to go outside, but look at this. Yeah, it's pouring rain. You can hear it fall down on the tin overhang. Wow. I love the sound of rain on a tin roof. Yeah, this kind of wind you don't you want to be inside because there could come hail or you never know if a tornado could come up or something. So we're very lucky to be. Oh, look at that lightning! In a house right now. So cool. Yeah, I, I heard it start to um, really come down, so I thought I would show that to you guys. Dwayne is having some painters come tomorrow to get some uh, his fireplace painted. They're gonna start with the the white. They're gonna do white and then do like a grayish beige on the walls to get rid of. This is kind of dated, so they're gonna redo that. So yeah, it's gonna look good. Yeah, that's navy blue. So I've gotta rinse it real quick before it stains anything. Warm water. And Magic Eraser gets this out like on the sink since this isn't stainless steel. I've got, I can get this off with Magic Eraser. I've already tested it. Yep, so I'm just testing out this rip dye to see if it works on this white linen fabric. If so, I can, I know that I can buy different colors, like if I can buy white stuff and dye it, whatever color I need. They've got like aqua, all different colors. This is the powder one. It works really well on the linen. You can see how it took, it really took well on the linen, but not the chiffon. It was in there for about 30 minutes. On warm, I got it like almost to boiling and then I put a maybe, I don't know, a quarter, half cup of salt, maybe not that much, and then let it simmer on the stove after it got really hot, I turned it down to simmer. So, let's give the RV a new look. I'm dying a few things to make them, oh, you know what I should have done, and I forgot, I was gonna, oh, I didn't really want to do it this color anyway, but I was thinking I could dye those, um, those, 
what are they called? Those uh, sheets that I have up for barriers to the CAD and just that decorative sheet that I have hanging in the back of the rig by our, uh, in our room. Could dye those darker. Just wanted to get more of a contrast from the walls. The walls are kind of light and I think we're going to keep those either, we'll either do a, a lighter wall and do darker cabinets or we'll do, we'll leave, do, um, leave the cabinets and do a darker wall, like a darker gray. I don't know yet, but I'll talk to Steve about it. But either way, I wanted some contrast um, with the aqua and the mint colors that we have in there. This will be a start. I went in the RV and it's Friday night and Steve had these beautiful tulips that I love. And another bouquet of flowers in a bowl of water because he got one bouquet for his mother and one for me for Mother's Day. So I get it early. Isn't that beautiful? Yep, this is Friday night and I'm just showing my beautiful flowers that I got for Mother's Day early. I just put them in here. They're still kind of droopy, but I just took them out of the wrapper. But they're beautiful pink. And some of them are even still closed. But I bet when we get up tomorrow, they'll be nice and open and bright with the sun coming in. Thank you, honey, for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. This pretty little girl is ready for Mother's Day tomorrow. I washed her bed that we're taking with us. The one that we put in the stroller that Kim gave us, I spot cleaned that and we're letting it dry. And then mommy fixed Cinnamon's hair real cute with the pink bow. Gave her a nice brushing, did her, trimmed her nails and um, put some doggy essential oil on for dogs. And she smells nice and pretty. This guy, I'm about to do his nails and he is not happy about it. We have to soften them up with treats. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to everybody, all the mothers out there. I'm just picking up the room where we stayed because we we're leaving today, driving to Texas. We've got all our appointments lined up all week, almost every day. We've got a full week and a really busy day driving after our Mother's Day brunch. So wait till you see the spread for that. But anyway, have a great Mother's Day and we'll see you in the next clip. Guys, we're sitting here having Mother's Day brunch. We got Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes, and green beans, tortilla, enchilada soup. Thank you, cousin Kim. Yeah, thank you, Kim and Dwayne, for opening your home. Yeah. My beautiful tulips that my hubby got me for Mother's Day. Happy right. Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Hey again, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mother's Day to you guys. <laughs> Look at my sweet Mother's Day cards from the kids. So sweet. They made me really pretty Mother's Day cards. So we're about to roll. We've got our family here uh, having our get together. We're about to drive the car and the rig to go to Texas. Out of my flowers, I'm keeping one because we can't fit all of them. So we thought just to hold on to one. I'm going to go put that in the rig before we leave. So we're saying goodbye. Cindy, we got Danny. We got Bob. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. We love you, too. <laughs> Thank you.